Today we're hopefully going to get to touch our first piece of metal. Uh, a couple weeks ago our metal arrived, but we weren't to the uh, place yet where we could work with it. So our routing molds are done for our wing ribs, and uh, now we're going to start tracing it onto the metal. Uh, but first we've got to figure out how to unroll these uh, big pieces of metal. Ready? Push! Push! When we fly, this is going to be in the air with this. So, for uh, those of you who have not built before, we were kind of wondering, well, how do they ship it? Uh, you know, if they roll it up, isn't that going to damage it? What they do is they roll it up, but it's um, a big enough circle that when we unroll it, it should lay out back flat. So, it shouldn't Hopefully. actually deform it or bend it at all. I've never done this before. Um, you have a scissors or anything? I have a knife. All right. I'm a man. But how, uh... <laughs> is it... I wonder how much spring back it is. I don't know. I'll, I'll stand here and try to hold it. <laughs> and then <laughs> this could get dangerous. <laughs> here, get the middle one first. I'll hold it just in case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't. Is it recording? Yep. <laughs> okay. Might as well just go. Might as well go. Here we go. Cut the other one. All right. Now you hold one side of this. Okay. got a piece of plastic over the whole thing to help keep it from getting scratched, which that's nice. And this is three sheets of .025. It's the thinner piece, and then we've got two sheets down here that are .032, and that's going to be thicker. We're going to use that for some of the center ribs and uh, some of the spars. A uh, couple questions at the moment. One is, uh, the metal is slightly damaged here on the end. We're trying to figure it out the way we have, you know, the ribs laid out on here. If we can avoid that, or if that's going to be a problem, uh, we hope we can avoid it. The other thing is, there's this plastic coating, which is really nice to keep it, uh, you know, the metal nice and protected. Um, but when we go to cut it, is now the time to pull that plastic off? We leave the plastic on while we use the pneumatic shears. Uh, we don't know. So before we start tracing uh, on, we're trying to figure out, you know. Do we do that on top of the plastic or do we take plastic off? So we're scratching our heads at the moment, but we'll figure it out. 